Hello everyone, welcome to the Sony State of Play. We're gonna be checking out Final Fantasy 16, I think, on this thing. We're about uh, 18 seconds away from the start. There could be a little bit something else. Said it's about to be 20, 25 minutes of stuff. We saw a little bit of Final Fantasy 16 at PAX. We watched the hour long presentation they had there. Curious if we're gonna see anything new or what to expect from this. Here we go. Hello everyone, this is Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy XVI, Hello. and welcome to the State of Play. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about the story, world, and combat system of Final Fantasy XVI, as well as reveal all new information regarding the game's wide variety of RPG elements and support systems. I think this we'll be talking you through everything while using never-before-seen gameplay footage running on the PlayStation 5. I hope you'll stay with us until the end of the show and enjoy everything we have in store for you. With that, let's get started. This, yeah, that's Koji Fox translating. This could be a PAX hour-long presentation packed into 20 minutes. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Shiva yes, can so. uh, be my dummy mommy anytime she wants, right, chat? <laughs> ah, okay, we got game Focus, Wyvern. Home, sweet home. Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16 is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yet while this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous games before jumping in. With a fusion of real-time action and RPG features, Final Fantasy 16 has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. Using the power of the PlayStation 5 to its fullest, the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience which we liken to a high-speed roller coaster ride. Great! I, the stream of this looks kind of bad. I want to see this in 4K. There'll probably be one after this, after the state of play. The protagonist of our story is Clive Rosfield, and his journey takes place in the realm of Valisthea. We follow the epic tale of Clive, Shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, as it unfolds. Audio balancing three is kind of bad. Periods in our hero's life: his teens, twenties, and thirties. Well, that guy's dead. While the story begins with Clive in his twenties, a fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. Huh. I'm going to I'm going to push a restart here on the stream. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure. Okay, it didn't uh, change much of the audio. Uh-oh. 
man, puberty's just, it's so hard to go through. You know, I hate when Phoenix summons. beating up there was he punching phoenix oh it's kind of what Navigation we saw Navigation in final fantasy 16 is driven via a world map with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main narrative so we saw a little bit of this at pax the world map can be opened at any time allowing players access to all manner of locations across valistia no, the pro tag is Efrit. Here, players will meet new friends, encounter formidable foes, and uncover great and wondrous mysteries. God, that looks gorgeous. The environments look a little uh, empty, though. That looks good. That looks badass. Next, I'd like to talk about the combat of Final Fantasy 16. All the battles in the game take place in real time and are not turn-based. As Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. Hell yeah, dude. Woo! Yo, this is uh, the best combat gameplay they've shown so far. Holy crap. That was like a Bahamut Mega Flare right there. They even said Mega Flare on the left. The abilities that Clive wields have unique characteristics depending on the icon they are derived from. Players can use ability points collected by defeating enemies to unlock more abilities or upgrade existing ones. Can't decide which iconic ability to unlock or upgrade? No problem. You can let the game choose for you. Cool. 
Final Fantasy 16 includes a range of timely accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so skilled at action games. They went into that pretty deep enjoyable experience. It packs. Players are encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations of these accessories until they find the one that perfectly matches their own playstyle. A combination I can particularly recommend to those who may struggle with action gameplay is the Ring of Timely Focus and the Ring of Timely Strikes. This combination allows players to unleash a wide array of different techniques just by pressing a single attack button, as well as shifting into a window of slow motion whenever Clive is about to be hit by an attack, I think giving that's them great. a little extra time to hit R1 and evade. Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, I really encourage everyone to discover the combination that works best for them. Cool. And for those who want to concentrate on the story, don't forget to choose Story Focus Mode before starting a new game. What does that mean? In this mode, timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing players to immerse themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. Cool. Great. There will be so much gatekeeping for streamers. I mean, you're already seeing Clive it in chat when people call us journalist journey, mode. Who will join him as friends and allies. I'm not worried so much for streamers. I don't give a shit about that. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. Jill. True, a friend from Clive's youth. It really is Such you. encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. Clive! Wait. Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures. Who the hell's Midnight Raven? And finding lots to talk about along the way. Is this like a sub-boss? Players will only need to focus on controlling Clive. Party members are fully AI-driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. Yo, let that guy cook. Oh, here we go. Republican War Panther. Oh, no. The game got political. You never go woke, chat, or you go broke. We're gonna have to spin up the boycott. Are they gonna do a oh, Budweiser? We cannot forget Torgal. Tie in. A smart, strong, and fiercely loyal hound, Torgal is always by Clive's side and willing to stand by him in the face of whatever cruel fate may befall them. Yoshi P, if you kill that dog, accord, but players can also give him direct commands. I swear. Just don't forget to give this good boy some treats every now and then. Or what? Or what? Goots, get her upstairs. What? Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. What the hell is... I've taken care of her fee. Her name is oh. Karen? She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be my solo. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Here in the hideaway, Clive will find a shop where yes. he can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables such as potions. Wait, is that Karen? I thought Locked Karen was the person on the guy's back. Works the hideaway's forge, bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. 
After upgrading your equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing oh, the that's Red Jill. Stone. Got it. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. Once you're confident in your skills, try your hand at arcade mode and see how your scores stack up against players from around the world. Dude, look how deep the combat looks. The hideaway is home to a lot of other features as well. Not only will players discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valisthea. Dude, it loads so fast. Back. Her name's Mid? Yo, go touch that Moogle. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. I I don't like that voice. Visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks. Fearsome foes lurking about the realm in desperate need of slay. Hell yeah. The Moogle will be your guide. <laughs> An Ariman. There's also Lorsman Harpocrates, who will unlock Valisthea's secrets as Clive recounts tales of his adventures. He's an amateur I analyst. Find no, no, it's an amateur analyst. You wish to study the tomes? Ah! It said that chat. Here for another of my lectures. And Vivian Ninetales, what is it a scholar and strategist who will Here's be more than happy to I explain have. to Clive the current state of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and features in the hideaway to help players get even more enjoyment Damn, out of their time with Final Fantasy XVI. That looks deep. We got two minutes, chat. his travels, Clive will encounter a wide array of fearsome foes. That marble. Oh, that's a marble. Night of the Blinding Dawn? Okay. Fafnir? What? That's a weird looking wolf. I guess that's... Eh. Dude, the animations are incredible. Holy shit! He will, of course, clash with the dominants who wield the power of the icons. beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. 
Dude, if they're showing this the much... A civilization shrouded in mystery. themselves. Experience unparalleled real-time action combat as Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. The shining point of Final Fantasy 16, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. confrontations all play out in real time, allowing players to control their very own icon with their own hands. These battles differ depending on the icon encountered, and every showdown is unique, right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks that encompass the entire battlefield. These massive scale boss battles are entirely seamless and I can promise you heart-stopping, controller-gripping excitement. I can't wait for you to get your hands on the game for yourself.
so everyone, what did you think? Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Final Fantasy 16 will be available worldwide on June 22nd, and there's still plenty that we've left to reveal. Battle content, side content, endgame content, and more. We hope to bring you more on these aspects of the game in the near future. Also, I'm truly excited to finally be able to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written and performed by one of Japan's greatest recording artists, Kenshi Yonezu. We've still got a lot more in store for you in the coming weeks, and I hope you'll all pre-order the game and join us in Ballastia on release day. This has been Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy 16. See you again soon. Final Fantasy Yoshida. I don't have anything to say. <clears throat> That's the video. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, state of play with me. Man.